Kinesiology taping for quadricep strain. Firstly, let's talk about the quadricep group. It's made up of four muscles, the rectus femoris, which is the most superficial at the front of the leg, the vastus medialis to the medial to the inside, vastus intermedius, which is underneath that rectus femoris, and vastus lateralis, which is on the outside of the thigh. A quick recap on the origin and insertions. We are talking about muscles that originate, one, the rectus femoris on the AIIS, that anterior inferior iliac spine. So it crosses the hip. And the other three quadriceps attach along the femoral body at varying points. All of those muscles insert at the tibial tuberosity via the patella tendon. So we get this blending and attachment all together in one point. Actions, knee extension, when the knee is flexed, we also get some medial and lateral rotation and the rectus femoris also gives us hip flexion. So really important where we have issues in terms of pelvic position. So which one do we need to look at when we're talking about quadriceps strain? Things to consider when you're doing your assessment, the intrinsic and the extrinsic factors how your client eats, what they do, what shoes they wear, what activities they're doing, what other things are going on in their body, previous injuries, fractures, all of that information is key to painting a bigger picture of what's going on. Activities of daily life, hobbies, checking hip stability, foot mechanics should all play a part at looking globally even though you're treating locally. Your treatment plan, we need to look at how that will change from acute to the subacute phase, what home care you would prescribe for them, and also what is your short-term plan versus your long-term plan, because that will change how we use the taping to treat that quad strain through the journey of that injury. Let's take a look at the acute and early subacute phase. So here we're treating erectus for more strain towards the knee. We're going to do a two-step taping, one to inhibit the quadriceps and two to desensitize the tissue over that area where the client's feeling pain. If there was swelling or it's really in that first 24 to 48 hours, you might also want to add a drainage type taping. Right, first of all, inhibition. So we need a good long piece of tape, make sure that you measure it. Now, it's an inhibition, so we're going to anchor below the knee at that tubule tuber tuberosity. So we anchor no tension on the tape, no stretch on the tissue. Now peel back the active part of the tape and we're going to add a light amount of stretch to the tape. Get your client to flex their knee, put the tissue on stretch and we rub that tape down with a light stretch on it. Relax the leg, relax the tape and rub well to stick. Next up, desensitization. So client indicates where they feel pain. Now, with the tissue on stretch, so knee flex, we're going to peel back the middle of the tape, light stretch, and place directly over the sensitive area. Peel back the anchors and anchor with no tension on the tape and no stretch. Next, subacute and remodeling phase. So here we want to activate the quadriceps. We're into that rehabilitation, re-strengthening that new tissue that's been laid down. You may want to combine this with other tapings based on your assessment. For example, if your client's overusing the quadriceps due to lack of glute activation or firing patterns. So you really need to combine this with your overall long-term treatment plan. So it's an activation we're going to tape towards the midline of the body. So we're going to anchor the tape with no tension. So peel back that first two inches. And we're going to attach that near the origin, so towards the top of the hip. Here, given the strain is towards the bottom of the rectus femoris, we're taping maybe three or four inches away from the origin. Then add a light amount of stretch, flex the knee, and lay that tissue to tape down and rub well to stick. Relax the leg and apply the anchor with no tension.